Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to the Gold Cap Challenge, day eight. This is kind of day eight and nine, but I'm just going to number the episodes as days because that's kind of what we've been doing. So, kind of mixed a couple of days into one, but whatever. Anyway, what have I been doing? I have been very busy, so I haven't had too much time to play, but I have been doing a lot of undercutting on the auction house, trying to deal with the legendary problem or the legendary solution so as you know we invested a lot of gold in the legendaries uh, maybe too much i thought they would have been more profitable than they actually were uh, we have made a bit of gold from them including some that sold for a lot so we had two or three that we've sold for like 300k some of the rank twos and threes however we've also lost gold on some and there's still a lot that need to be sold so I'll just do a mailbox opening now. We have one point, pretty much 1.8 million gold here. Uh, look through. Look, we've got a 260k Umbrahide treads. Okay, that's the only one on here, but we sold a couple more before. And yeah, not too bad. A few things selling for pretty decent amounts. Uh, we also have 100k on my other character that's still there. On my main so yeah that's 2 million gold here plus 100 on my main is 2.1 mil and then on the auction house we have 3.1 mil so in theory if that all sells we're on 5 mil we're halfway there <laughs> however uh, some of these legendaries are proving quite hard to sell um, we're going to have to just wait and see uh, if we can sell them or not because we have quite a few of the Rank 2s, rank 3s, they're selling for a lot of gold on the auction house. So over the next couple of days, I'm just going to spend my time constantly undercutting and seeing. Uh, I'm hoping next week, particularly when the raid comes out and everything, uh, more people will be crafting their legendaries. I know a lot of raiders are going to do that because they're waiting for to see if the legendaries get nerfed or not. And then when they don't get nerfed, or if they do get nerfed, they'll change their legendaries. So I know a lot of people are holding off crafting the legendaries. And... Hopefully that will be good for us, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, we're going to try a couple of other things. I'm going to try, first of all, a bit of Dark Moon decking again. Because uh, whilst the price of the decks have definitely gone down, the price of the herbs have also halved. So in theory, it could still be profitable. I don't really know. I'll spend 600k maybe. Or well, let's start off small. Let's just spend uh, 450k. And we will see if we can make any gold from it. But yeah, I think the main thing today is just going to be going through the various different characters and trying to make as much gold as I can whilst just constantly undercutting the legendaries to try and just sell them off. As quickly as possible. I mean, we might even craft some more legendaries, some of the lower level ones if they're selling for a lot, because uh, the lower level sort of 190s have a pretty decent sale rate, whereas the 210s and 225s have a much slower sale rate. So we'll just go through everything, guys, and uh, make some gold. Also, thanks to everyone who watched my random investment banker uh, video yesterday. Uh, people like that. Maybe I'll. I won't make it a series, but maybe I'll do sort of another one in a few weeks' time. Uh, I thought it was quite interesting. Anyway, because the prices have changed, instead of the 60-20 method, which I always talked about uh, when doing mass milling, we're going to have to change that up to like the 60-40 or 30-20 or 32-130, something like that. So we'll spend about 300k on Death Blossom. And we will spend about 140k on Nightshade. If I can work that out, maybe 900. There we go. So we will mass mill all of these bad boys to start with. Okay, so we have done all that. We have enough for 350 cards, which. Uh, is quite a lot so let us craft all of these and uh, yeah see how much gold we can get now lots of people have been asking about investing in mats before the raid comes out and what I think about that uh, and it really kind of depends 
personally, I'm not going to be taking any risks with any of that because, as the legendaries have shown, uh, if you invest too much in something that you don't know about, it could backfire. Legendaries haven't even really backfired for me yet, but I'm just hoping I can sell them in the next few days before the price drops too much and uh, I'll end up losing gold on some of them. But, yeah. Do I think that the price of enchants will go up? Yeah, probably. But then again, there'll be a lot more purples around, so a lot more disenchanting, so in theory the mats should go down as well. And when mats go down, usually the enchants go down, so it depends whether the influx in supply will kind of be the same as the influx in, in demand and how that works out. Personally, I think that they won't change too much. And if anything, they will go up for a little bit. Um, I mean, if you invest now for like the first day of raiding, you probably will make some gold, but I can't really be bothered. I'm going to stick with what I know works. I always say that in, well, in anything. In, <laughs> on my other YouTube channel where I talk about my real life uh, business, I always say if you find something that works, just keep going with it and keep expanding it. And it's exactly the same with with WoW gold making. If you find something that is working, then keep doing it or just do more of it. It always, always works. <laughs> I guess it's the same with anything in life, but probably getting too philosophical now. <laughs> Let's get back to gold making. Okay guys, so we are finally done and we spent 450k, uh, 435k actually, that's 15k off, and the total value of our cards is 687k, so again, it's 50% profit, um, almost 250,000 gold profit, at least 200,000, so really, really good, it just proves <laughs> when you find something that works, you probably should stick to it, not try and be too clever, so... I'm going to keep doing my card crafting if I can find the herbs for cheap. Tomorrow I'm also going to start some old world stuff, just getting into the classic gold making that always works. So making some old glyphs, making some old sort of transmogs that will sell slowly, all of that kind of stuff. I do miss uh, crafting the old classics. And same with all of the other professions, we'll just get doing the old classics because basically... Uh, current Shadowlands professions kind of suck apart from the legendaries uh, and it's going to be a lot better for us I think to start trying to get some gold through transmogs and other means but again if you are an enchanter remember to always check do you have the uh, ability to turn any of the bars or hides into profit just by simply buying them off the auction house you know, search callous hide on the auction house if you can actually spell. And then look and see, right, the callous hides are going for 107, but the heavy callous hides, sorry for my squeak, are going for 1,300. And it costs 10 callous hides to make a heavy, so that would be 1,070 turning into 1,300. But then you have to take off the auction house cut, which is 5%, so 5% of 1,300 is about 70, so 1,300 minus 70 is 1,230, but still that's 1,070 turning into 1,230, 150 gold for each callus hide you sell, and say you sell 100 callus hide, that's 13k you've literally just made. And again, if you say you don't have leather working but you have enchanting, oh look, Heavy callus hard is 1,300. Enchanted heavy is 2,750. So in theory, you'd make 150, or maybe 120 minus the uh, minus the soul dust, about 120 gold per one. But then you have to think, okay, the 5% auction house cut. So 2,750. What's 5% of that? Uh, 135, something like that. So instead of making 150 gold, you have to minus 135, so then it would only be 15 gold. And 15 gold per enchanted heavy callus hide profit is really not worth it. So, the callus hide to heavies is worth it, but not the heavy to enchanted. Just doing, you just got to think like that basically, just simple things like that. And uh, I'm sure you will make your 
gold back and then just check look someone's put one on for 12 gold it's probably gone already yeah it's gone already but still look someone's put a load for 110 so really good uh, and yeah that is that keep on checking your auction house for deals and keep on trying to trying to sort of innovate and find new ways to make gold even on a high pop server like mine where really a lot of the traditional gold making methods just aren't profitable if you're on a lower pop server you'll be able to sell just some of the blacksmithing gear still for profit but uh, that was never going to be the case on my server you've got to find more interesting and clever ways of doing things and it's also about finding the only thing that makes profit on the auction house also big 40k subs yes I did just hit 40k subs so thank you guys for your grats um, yeah so it's just about looking and seeing so you, you go on umber hide you don't even need to use the complicated add-ons for this look what's the best selling 190 uh, the helm for 22k so there's no profit in that well, what's the best selling 210 the waist guard for 97 and that's a nice profit and the leggings for 46 that's a nice profit I already have the waist got up on the auction house but I don't have the leggings up so I'm gonna make a couple of leggings rank two and then there we go I could finally make a couple of cheeky rank two and hides pretty much the only thing that's profitable right now but I've managed to find it and I'm going to get the rewards for making it anyway that is that guys uh, Sorry, it's not the most interesting challenge right now. <laughs> but I'm just trying to make sense of the legendary market and just continue doing the things that are profitable. And once I have sort of finished with all of that, we can start doing some more interesting things again. And I will start doing some flipping and stuff when the raid comes out because I'm going to flip some raid gear, hopefully. That will be fun. Anyway, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you're all good. Uh, Still a few days left of the giveaway, so if you haven't entered that yet, do check out my first Gold Cap Challenge episode for information on how to enter. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, 